Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Sky Factory 5 for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get yourself the CurseForge app as this is a CurseForge mod pack. And the way you can download the app is quite easy. You can go to your web browser and once you're here, all you have to do is simply search up CurseForge like so. And once you're here, what you want to do is go on the CurseForge.com website, click on the link, and you want to click Get CurseForge App on the top of the website, and then you want to download the standalone version. Now, I did a tutorial on how to set it up. If you want to watch it, it'll be in the description, but it is quite easy to set up from there. So once you have downloaded the app itself, what you want to do is open up the app, and it takes a couple seconds to open up. And once you have the app opened, what you want to do, you're going to have this screen here as a homepage. And all you need to do is simply select Minecraft. And once you're going to be here, you're going to have nothing. And all you have to do is simply go on search for Minecraft projects. And all you have to do is simply type in Sky Factory 5. Once you've done this, it's going to show you this one right here, Sky Factory 5. And all you have to do here is simply click install. Now it's going to start installing the Sky Factory mod pack for CurseForge. So let's just wait for that. Okay, so once we have Sky Factory 5 installed, what we can do is go back to my mod packs. And here you'll see Sky Factory 5. If we click on it, we can know a bit more about the mod and mod pack. And this minimum recommended RAM allocation for clients is 6 gigabytes. And this will be important because we will need to change this to 6 gigabytes. But for now, we can just simply click play. So, what you have to do here, this is a new Minecraft launcher. We can see it has a different color. And this means we have to log in to our Minecraft account again. So let's do this again. And once we're logged in to the new launcher of our Minecraft account, we will see an installer here called Sky Factory 5. So to add the minimum amount of RAM, which is 6 gigabytes, what you have to do is simply go to installations and once you're here you have to hover over sky factory 5 and bring your mice cursor to the three dots now you, all you have to do here is simply click it and click edit and what you want to do here is simply go to more options and change the megabytes here to simply 6000 now this isn't exactly 6 gigabytes but it does work. Now, if you put anything less than this, your game might crash. And of course, you can put more if you want. So all you have to do now is simply click save. And you can go back to play. Make sure you have Sky Factory 5 selected. And you can just click play. Press enter to enable the narrator. So, once you're done, what you want to do is simply full screen or at least enlarge the window. And now you just want to click continue. And now you are in Sky Factory. So to begin a world, all you have to do is go to single player. And then you want to create a world in survival. Now I'll just create a world in creative just to show you around. but. I'll just create a creative world, but you can do a survival one as well, as this is a sky block modification and it's going to be useful sky block. So, creative and okay. And now you're done. So once everything has loaded in, you're now in Sky Factory 5 and you can begin your adventure. So yeah. In today's video, I showed you how to download and install Sky Factory 5 for Minecraft Java. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!